In this video, I'll show you how to create this animated colorful background using only HTML and CSS. It is going to be super easy and I will be explaining every single line of code. So let's get into it. So here I have this empty folder. Inside I will create a index.html file and a style.css file inside the index using one exclamation mark. I will create this boilerplate. Let's change the title to animated background and link the style sheet. Let's open this on the browser using live server. So inside the HTML, we are just going to have this container with some empty divs inside. Let's have five divs. So these divs are basically going to be boxes that have colors inside and we are going to be moving them around inside this container to create that colorful animation. Let's go into the styling file. I will select everything inside the page and reset the margin and padding and set the box sizing to border box. Let's select the container. So I want this container to cover the entire page so I will set the minimum height to 100 VH and let's hide the overflow as well because we have a couple of elements inside that we are going to be moving around so i will select the divs inside the container so as i said earlier these divs are going to have some colors inside and we are going to be moving them around using keyframes but first we need to position them into different places inside the page to be able to do it we are going to use position absolute and we want them to be positioned relative to their parent. In this case, the parent is the container. So I will give the container position relative. Let's give these boxes some border radius as well. And we are going to create an animation. The name of the animation is going to be gradient. It is going to last 4 seconds and it is going to be a loop. So let's say infinite. So basically, we are going to create this animation using keyframes. It is going to last 4 seconds and it is just going to be looping over and over again. Let's create keyframes and the animation name is going to be gradient. So at the 50% mark, so 50% means at the 2 second mark, we are going to apply some transform, which in this case, we are going to change the scale and position. So at the two second mark of this four second lasting animation, we are going to be making those divs bigger and moving them on the horizontal axis and the vertical axis as well. So right now you cannot see anything in the page because we didn't give any height and width and color to those empty divs. So let's select the div. I will select the first one using NTH child. Let's give it a height and width of 100%. Background color of this one is going to be this pink color. Let's select the second one. This one is going to be a bit smaller, so height of 80% and width of 70%. Background color is going to be this purple color. And as you can see, the animation is working already. So let's bring it down from the top, 12% and right, 12%. So these numbers that I'm using, this is just to spread these empty divs around to basically separate them from each other. And I will also add a animation delay to this one. So the animation is going to start two seconds later when you refresh the page. Let's select the third one. This one is going to be a lot smaller, so height 50% and width 75%. Background color is going to be this blue color. Let's move it from bottom 10% and from left minus 5%. And the animation delay on this one is going to be one second. And the reason why I'm using different animation delays on different diffs is because I don't want this animation to be happen at the same time. So basically I don't want them to be look really synchronized. Let's select the fourth. 
This one is going to have a height of 65% and a width of 80%. Background color is going to be this light blue color. Let's move it from bottom 15% and from right 20%. Animation delay is going to be 30 seconds on this one. And let's select the final one. This one is going to have a height of 70% and a width of 65%. Background color is going to be this orange color. Let's bring this one to the bottom and let's move it from right 50% and animation delay is going to be one second so this is basically how it looks before we apply the overlay we have some boxes with colors inside and they are moving around so the only thing left is to add a overlay and we are going to be using a pseudo element which is after I will give it a position of absolute content is going to be empty Let's make it cover the entire page, height 100% and width 100%. And we are going to be using a blur effect to hide the boxes. So let's use a high number, 200 pixels. And that is it. And as you can see, we have the colors moving around. We have the blur effect to hide the edges of the boxes. Everything looks really smooth. So this is how we can create this animated colorful background using only HTML and CSS. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and I will see you next time.